uh, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be unboxing, taking a look at this 36 gallon Boatfront Aquarium from Topfin. So I guess without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box and start the video. Alright, so uh, first things first, let's remove this top piece of cardboard. And removing this reveals all the wonders we've got inside here. So let's start with the packaging. So first things first, we've got this big box right here, which of course contains our lid. The lid itself is pretty flimsy plastic, and I will not really be able to use it for my purposes because of the fact that I want to upgrade the lighting and it doesn't have any glass areas. I guess I could like cut an area for it, but uh, this is just a flimsy plastic thing with a feeding hole. Uh, I guess it'll, and it's got a fil filter slot cut out. Um, I guess it'll work if you aren't going to plan on growing any plants, but for what I'm using, this lid will definitely not be needed. But, I mean, it is not with the best, pretty flimsy plastic, and I cannot imagine this holding up over time. But it is definitely a functional lid for this tank. Next up, the first thing that we see down here, we got some instructions. Uh, I'm sure I'll keep these just in case there's a warranty, but not really going to need to read them. I've owned aquariums in my life. And then there's some boxes, which are like glued to the bottom with this sticky stuff. Um, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the that stuff, but you know, I guess it would work out. And what I've got here is the plug and the switch for the lighting. So very simple, just a, a plug and a switch that plugs right into your lighting. Again, we will be checking out that lighting in just a minute, but very simple. This will come with most kit tanks that you do buy. Next up, what I'm assuming is the heater. We got this box, and again, stuck to the bottom with this tape. Very simple uh, box. I'm glad that it does come with a heater, though. I've heard, I'm not the biggest um, fan of Topfin products, not that I've used them very often, but I don't really know how their heater is going to stand up. But it does seem to be adjustable. It has a glass part. Here, let me get these parts down here. Just empty box here. And then of course what we got, all right, included with this heater, we've got the instruction manual, not needed again. Set this to the side. It comes with this little thermometer wrapped in this bubble wrap. Um, just a very cheap stick on glass aquarium thermometer that I guess you could use, but I mean, you know, it's, it just sticks to the glass, not really anything special. Not sure how accurate this is going to be. Let's see what temperature it says reading in the room. Uh, it's about 90 degrees in here. Seems about accurate. I am boiling. It is such a hot day outside. Uh, yeah, it is definitely. Probably reading that accurately. I'll just keep this. Probably won't use it in the tank, but yeah, I don't know. I'll probably find other use for it. And then we got these suction cups that go along with this heater that I'll show you guys. Oops. In a second. So you grab these. So these suction cups come with these plastic mounts, and you just, I'm assuming, you just slide this. This is my first time seeing any of this, so I'm assuming that this just goes into here, and that would hold the heater on to your glass. And then, of course, what we actually were looking for here is this heater. I'm pretty sure this is a 200 watt adjustable heater. Um, I would have to check that to see if it's 200 watt. Let me check this out. I'm actually not sure, I couldn't find it, but I'm sure it's a 200 watt. It's got a bit of metal right here, it's got an adjustable thing right here, and when you adjust this, let me get you guys a better look at this, when you turn it, this red line goes up and down, indicating the temperature you're setting it at. So the highest it goes is 93, then I can turn this knob and set it back down to a cooler temperature. Interesting design. Um, I'll probably be using this heater, but I have a backup heater just in case because this is a pretty cheapo heater that they just kind of threw in this kit just to add value. A lot of these things like this thermometer and like this net right here, they put these in here just so that buyers would feel like they're getting more for their money and beginners can have extra things, you know, that you'll eventually need down the road. But most of it they just threw in here for as cheap as possible. Then, biggest box we got down here, again, stuck on this stuff, is this package that 
has a aquarium net taped onto it right here. Uh, I have a billion nets, but it's always nice to have an extra one. So I guess it is a nice addition, if not an unnecessary one, that they could have probably kept out of there. But again, probably just to uh, entice new buyers into uh, their product. But since this filter, oh, I'm stinking sticky tape down here. This filter is a pretty uh, big part of this kit, so I'm going to um, take us into a better reviewing area so we can actually take a good look at this. So this filter, like all the other uh, parts of this kit, come in this plain white box. So it has these little attach tab things, and I think this is a PF, you know, Top Fin branded PetSmart uh, PF40 filter. So who knows the quality of this thing? I don't even. I mean, I'll try and use it just to save some money on a different filter, but who knows? May not even work. But comes with this uh, intake right here, some 3M tape, not really sure what that's for just yet. An instruction manual right here, probably won't need this again and again. And then the actual filter itself in this plastic box already feels uh, cheaply made. Um, definitely made this for the cheapest uh, possible. Uh, pretty sure this is, uh, yeah, this is a adjustable knob, I guess. You can increase, decrease the flow. Uh, comes with this carbon cartridge, of course, like all the filters do. Um, all this stuff, you know, uh, just chemical filtration. I will definitely be replacing that for my planted uh, aquascape, which, by the way, guys, for the escape of this tank, who knows when this will be coming. Uh, I've got to acquire the lighting still and buy some of the plants, but other than that, I'm kind of so ready. So, in another, well, however long it takes me to work, enough to buy to earn up like another hundred dollars then then we will have um our uh aquascape for this tank but uh again because of how cheaply this tank was this tank was what 129 bucks on sale uh all the products inside here had to be made as cheaply as possible which again i'm on a super tight budget so i had to buy the cheapest uh, tank possible here but of course we got these items here and remove them from their packaging very again there's a lot of things that they could have not included some of the things and then upgraded what they did include but they chose what to do here so you got the minimum water line this goes on here it's a very uh big intake like this is a thick uh filter like this whole thing just in general is pretty big uh probably will be able to use it just won't be using any of this right here no idea what this 3m tape is for maybe i have honestly no idea that comes with this lid has one of those like quote unquote convenient things that tells you when to like change the uh filter cartridge what it is is just a buoy that like floats up honestly like when it's blue that means you can it's fine and when it's red change the cartridge who knows if those actually work. Um, I'll probably end up ripping this thing out of here just as an unnecessary complication. And I'll be replacing this with biological media. But again, just a very cheap filter, but should probably get the job done. I will demonstrate it later in the video. But then and again, it's a very inexpensive kit and they needed to cut corners wherever possible. It does seem to have pretty long cords, so that is nice. Just a standard plug-in that you get with all the other filters. Not much to couldn't get that even on there not much to talk about here but the main reason you are buying this tank is literally for the tank so without further ado let's take a look at that so here it is in its utmost glory um this tank is very heavy uh it is the biggest tank that i've ever owned but um first things first we gotta do just remove this weird insert that they've got here displaying a pretty darn ugly tank and some pretty bad stocking choices like pet smart likes to do um so that's just an, a taping thing right on this so we can just quickly remove that so this is held on with what amounts to scotch tape pretty much and i can already tell that i'm being pretty critical in this video and i don't really mean to it's just i really think that since there is not very many videos on this tank on youtube i feel like i just uh i 
should give you guys a honest review on this tank but so far I personally bought it so and I'm going to be using it for a few years so I'm definitely going to be living with this tank so we're gonna remove the tank if I can even yeah this is a very heavy tank gotta pull this cardboard back this cardboard insert lots of cardboard used here and remove this last bit of tape so once you get this thing off not that i want to use it for anything we'll probably end up throwing this away but i guess you can use this like a poster or something but um you get this tank so let me get the last bit of cardboard off holy crap this thing is not light um and it's got a rim oh holy crap on the bottom <clears throat> gotta be careful here and it's rimless on the top <laughs> all right now that that's taken care of it is <clears throat> rimless on the top and has a rim across the bottom here uh sorry it's so hot in here right now uh uh, I really do like the look. It's got a lot of fingerprints on it currently. We can measure it. It's got measurements on the box, but might as well give you guys <coughs> measurements. So, we are looking at about 30 and a half inches across at the point of the bow front. About 15 and a half inches. Oops. And we are looking at about... 22 or give or take inches tall on this uh, tank so the silicone seals they they are black but they are not the cleanest seals I have ever seen in my life uh, they I'm, hot. I'm sure they'll hold water the glass is quite thick the bow front seems to have been done pretty well but the silicone seals are just really not the best that you can get but obviously this was a very cheap uh, tank and you get what you pay for really in fact there was a big scratch along the back right here uh, I'm not sure what that's from just inspecting it overall not a very clean job but it is definitely uh, a get what you pay for situation here it's not gonna be the ADA quality super clean remember you guys you buy this from PetSmart you are paying under 150 bucks for this tank on sale so um, yes, I have been critical of it, but yes, this is my tank, and I'm excited to see how it is set up. Um, I will be, uh, lighting this thing with a lot of, uh, different, uh, lightings. Probably have, like, three different lights on it. Just, I'm really excited to make this a awesome show tank. From pretty humble beginnings to a pretty epic tank. But, before we get into scaping it, which will happen very far in the future, go on this hood. The hood is ugly, it's cheap. But, if you really needed to use it, you could. So, I'm gonna untie this cord, and then you get your power adapter right here, and do the exact same thing. I know this is a simple thing, but who knows? Gotta throw it in there. And there you go. If you're gonna use the stock lighting, you just plug this into the thing in the back, put this into a outlet. All right, so that is the lighting on this tank. Surprisingly, a lot brighter than I thought it would be but again and again not the brightest thing in the world uh, probably couldn't grow plants definitely couldn't grow plants but it would illuminate fish it only has one setting off and on which I think honestly lights should have I mean besides dimming you don't really need the moonlighting setting but that's kind of besides the point um, now that I think about it and look at it it's probably could do some Anubias or something like that but I really wouldn't place my uh, like $100 worth of plants under this light and just like hope that they don't just melt away into nothingness. So definitely would upgrade the lighting on this thing, but there's a lot of cheap options that you can use. But as I said in that kind of fish room quote unquote vlog, uh, this tank, I wasn't planning on getting it this early, but I saw it on sale and I was like, I hate waiting. I'm so impatient. I have the money that I saved up. I'm just going to buy it now. So probably same thing will happen with the escape. I'll probably end up getting impatient, working really hard, saving up the money fast, and this thing will be off, off before the summer's over, but don't take my word on that. I hope that's what happens, 
but who knows. But this tank will be as a direct replacement for my 20 gallon tall. Um, all the lights are off right now, and of course this algae scrubber is in the way. But uh, all this whole tank, you can see updates on it in the vlog. But everything one's doing great in this tank, and this tank's just really old. I'm going to be breaking it down. Throwing the 36 on the same stand, quote unquote stand again, it's just a dresser, but because it would fit perfectly here. And we'll be doing awesome aquascape. Uh, I'll be using all of my um, newly found uh, techniques in aquascaping and making a really interesting, stunning show tank that'll be the biggest in the fish room. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in this tank, go check it out at a local PetSmart. Uh, it's really the only place you can figure out you can buy it, but Stay tuned for the aquascape on that tank. Probably will be coming pretty soon just because of how impatient I get when it comes to uh, aquarium things and how soon I want them to happen just because I'm so excited about them. So whenever I save up enough money, we will have a sweet aquascape for you guys on this 36 gallon and this 20 gallon will be no more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Thanks for watching.